The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Okay, so what we have on the slide right here is an example of incomplete uh, dominance, and it's an example involving uh, the Snapdragon plant. So um, when we cross a red Snapdragon plant with a white Snapdragon plant, all the F1 hybrids, all the um, offspring of that cross will have pink flowers. Okay, so when we cross a red Snapdragon plant with a white Snapdragon plant, all the F1 offspring is seen having pink flowers. So this is a cross between what is the dominant uh, red homozygous genotype and the recessive white genotype, resulting in the formation of heterozygotes, an F1 generation that is all pink. Now, this third intermediate phenotype, this pink phenotype, uh, results or is because of the fact that these offspring or these F1 offspring, this first filial generation, uh, has less red pigmentation, less red pigment than does, for instance, the red uh, parent or that completely red uh, parental generation. Now, this is much unlike what we've seen, for instance, in the case of uh, Mendel's pea plant. For instance, when we're talking about the character for flower color uh, denoted by the capital P for purple color and the small p for white color. When we were dealing with heterozygotes, um, individuals that had the dominant and the recessive allele, all these plants were still purple, which indicated that uh, this genotype was still producing enough gene product for those plants to be completely purple. So that allele was completely dominant over the recessive allele, which resulted in the purple phenotype. That's not the case here. We're actually seeing a phenotype that's actually an intermediary or sort of like a blend of the two parental phenotypes. So what happens when we then proceed to self or cross be cross breed um, the F1 generation? What happens when we self the F1 generation? We get a very weird ratio here. So we're crossing what are the pink, the heterozygotes. So these are the gametes we get, uh, a dominant gamete for red color, a re uh, recessive, I'm sorry, an allele, a recessive allele for white color. Similarly, we have a dominant uh, allele for red color there and a recessive allele for, for um, white color. So crossing those alleles in that Panet grid produces a phenotypic ratio of one to one in that we have one red plant right here, we have two pink plants right there, and we have one white plant right there. Now, because of the simple fact that these heterozygotes have a separate phenotype because of incomplete dominance, right? They have a separate phenotype, the pink phenotype, the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios are the same. So the phenotypic ratio in this case is one to one, and the genotypic ratio is also one to one because you have one, um, homozygous dominant, you have two heterozygotes, and then you have one homozygous recessive. So the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios are the same. So this is an example of what we call incomplete dominance. Now, the segregation, now the plants we have here, these heterozygotes are pink in color. Okay, Both of them are pink in color uh, before we cross them to obtain this second filial generation, that F2 generation. Now, the segregation of the red and the white flower alleles and the gametes that are produced by those heterozygotes confirms the simple fact that these alleles for flower color are, are actually heritable factors. So they're actually heritable and they maintain their identity even when they're in hybrids. So what I mean by that is in this F1 generation, we saw both the red and the white phenotypes disappear. So we had a pink phenotype that was a blend or a mix of the two previous parental phenotypes. Now, selfing or crossing that F1 generation produces an F2 generation in which we have the white and the red phenotype, phenotype reappearing. That tells you that 
these individual alleles, they're discrete, they're heritable factors, and they maintain their individual identity even in hybrid form because what happens when we segregate them and you have instances in which they're in their homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive form, we see the re-emergence of those phenotypes that had previously disappeared in the F1 generation. So that's what I mean by that. So this is a very good example of incomplete uh, dominance, the snapdragon flower. There's several others out there you can go and look up if you're really interested in learning or knowing more about um, this phenomenon. Now.